video today that has come very highly requested. I have done a lot of extension videos, mostly tape-in and mostly on longer or mid-length hair. We are now doing a tape-in video on short hair. I have done her video, uh, a video on her hair once before, but it was with color as well, and it wasn't as in-depth about tape-ins. So we are going to do an in-depth video on how I place tape-ins on short hair. So this cute client of mine is growing out of pixie cut. As you can see, her hair has some breakage up here, a little bit right here, but her hair is getting a lot better than it was. She had a pixie cut about two years ago. We actually shaved the sides of her head and did a pompadour up here. So this is growing out from there, and that's why she has shorter pieces up here. But her hair has come a long way, and now we are ready to put in some extensions. So I'm going to show you how you would place extensions on a client with hair like this. We are going to be using 16-inch hair extensions today, so about mid-length. So if you're interested in watching this, stay tuned. Okay, so these are the four colors of extensions we're going to be using to create an ombre balayage effect. So we are using the Kinsey, which is a four over eight highlight, and then a Lauren, which is a three over eight ombre. We are also going to be mixing two darker shades. This is our Bailey, which is a one B. And this is our Bentley, which is a two. And these two darker shades combined with the highlight and the ombre is gonna give us a dimensional balayage look. Okay, so I feel like I've done like a million tape-in extension videos, but when you're doing tape-ins on shorter hair, you have to be a little more precise and really pay attention to your partings and most of all blending because it's very easy for it to look like a mullet with stringy ends. That is partly why we are using four bags. This is going to give her a full effect. If we had any less bags on her head, it wouldn't look blended. So we are using the four bags and I am just placing like I usually do. Angles are key to me. That's like my little trick when it comes to extensions. Placing on an angle keeps it looking very natural and blended in with the hair. Okay, so now you can see we've placed about six of our tape ins right now. We're getting a really good pattern going, but we obviously still have a little bit of work to do. But as soon as you do that bottom layer, then you'll start to see where you have gaps and where you need to fill in. I use my placement guide to place where I put her tape ins, but if you don't have that or if you have another placement, that's fine. But as you work your way up the head, you can see, okay, I have a gap here, I have a gap here, and that's how you kind of decide where to put your next piece. So I kind of have two points when it comes to this video. One is to teach you how to do extensions on shorter hair and make it look natural. And two is to create a balayaged effect without having to color the client's hair. We colored her hair with a 4N, so her own hair is just solid dark brown. And then we are mixing these extensions in to give her a balayage look without having to actually balayage her hair. And this is a really good idea for clients who don't want to color their hair, they don't want the commitment, or you know their hair can't handle it and they need to have a break but they don't want to be one solid color. This is a great way to add color into the hair without actually having to color it. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell, but I was trying to show you guys that I was alternating whether the dark was on top or on bottom as I worked my way up the head. And the way that I'm pairing these sandwiches are, I'm doing Kinsey's and Bentley's together. This is about a level four to five, and this is a level four mixed in with a level eight. So I'm pairing these two together, and sometimes I'll do the this on bottom and this on top, and then I'll switch it and do this on bottom and this on top to give us dimension in the hair. And then my other pairing is the Bailey's, which is like a level two to three, and then the Lauren's, which is an ombre, a level five down to a level eight. This is about the same as a Kinsey, but instead of a highlight, it's an ombre. So this is gonna give us more dimension in the hair, and I'm doing the same thing where I mix and match which one goes on top and bottom. And as you can see, mix matching gives a lot of dimension in the hair, and you can see we have some dark, some light, and this is gonna give us a balayage effect.
So like I just talked about, color placement when it comes to something like this is very important. I don't want to layer two highlighted colors or two dark colors together to mix it up and give it dimension. I'm always going to be pairing a dark color with an ombre and the other dark color with a highlight. And I actually switch off doing the dark color underneath and then on the next one I'll do the dark color up top. And this is going to make it so her dark hair on its own transitions into the extensions very nicely. If we were just to use highlighted and ombre extensions it could look a little too crazy and not match as well, which is why we added the darker tones in with it. This makes it look very seamless and blended. Okay, now for the blending. This is probably the most important part of the whole extension process, only because blending is key when it comes to making your extensions look natural. So what I do is I go around and do a baseline and I start in the back and then I work my way towards the front and make sure your client always has her legs uncrossed and her head looking forward, not looking down at her phone or anything like that because it can throw your baseline off. So as you can see, I'm going around doing this right here and I start off just scissor cutting and doing like a straight across but blunt cut. Um, you can also point cut too if your client likes a more shattered end, but I like to do it blunt and then I go through and point cut afterwards after I get my nice clean base. And then sometimes I will even take my texturizing shears and chop into it even more to give it that wispier appearance. And you can't see very well right here. You can kind of see in the mirror though that I'm just now slide cutting down the hair. And I'm mainly doing this for face framing. And then as you can see coming up right here, I also do it through the interiors of the hair to blend everything together. And when I'm doing this, I'm not cutting any of her natural hair at all. I'm just taking from her shortest piece down and blending into the extension so that it all blends very nicely. Okay, and this is where I do actually cut some of her own hair. So I have my thinning shears, and these are great. They're from Hanzo Shears, and the teeth are wider apart, so I feel like it gives me a more accurate cut. And I am just surface cutting. So I'm going up her hair, getting any of those wispy ends that she has because her hair is a little damaged so that it lays nicer in with the extensions. And then I'm also wisping out her ends as well. And this is just because she does have extremely thick hair, and it's a little damaged, so I just do this for her to make them blend easier. All right, this is after the installation and cut, and she is just wearing it straight, and look how well it blends. I love that. You should be able to wear your extensions straight and curled, and as you can see here, she can do both. And here is it curled. It's beautiful. We are so obsessed with the results. Let us know what you think in the comments below, but I love how natural and blended these look with the balayage and the cut. Okay, you guys, we are all done with her hair. This is the completed look. Isn't it crazy what a few extensions can do? Well, not a few, four bags. But still, isn't that insane that she has so little hair on her own head and then just this amazingness when we put it in? We are super happy with the blend. The colors are perfect. It's like a perfect Twix bar. We love it. So, hopefully you learned a little something about how to put extensions in short hair. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.